to be living every day with mice just makes you feel dirty. It has been constant, it hasn't let up. The ground just moves with mice. There's just no escaping them. This one would be probably the worst mouse plague I've ever been through. I've been through three others over the years. Hay in the hay shed where it's probably fifty, sixty thousand dollars ruined. Um, grain stored in big, big plastic bags. They've eaten them and ruined them. Everywhere they can go, they'll go. A lot of households have lost fridges and microwaves and all that where they've got in and chewed wiring and burnt them out. Oh, Mickey, Mickey, go, go, go! Same with cars, tractors, anything where they can get in, they'll get in and chew. We've come out of a drought and because things have suddenly got so good so quickly, you know, rapid breeders like mice are really able to capitalise on that situation. And it's going to take a while for the rest of the ecosystem to catch up and balance it out. The real economic damage is in the paddock. In Australia, most areas will only get one crop a year. And so to have a play hit you in what would otherwise be a good year, it can be a real setback. We're back to where we were nearly in the middle of the drought and lost a lot of money and, and heartache in between. Oh my God! We have mouse traps set in the house. We have bait stations set up outside the house, but that's only catching a, a portion of the mice that are, are still running around. You can be in bed at night and you can actually hear them uh, running around the bedroom and you uh, hear them rustling as they're <laughs> running across the pillow. No. It is taking a, a toll on our sleep patterns because um, yeah, it's just unsettling. Mouse, mouse, mouse going around there. Oh, welcome to Australia. They're getting into kitchen cupboards and eating the food. They're also eating furniture. People have gone away and come back and the lounges have been destroyed. There's the smell of the live mice, but then there's the smell of the, the dead and decaying mice. And it's just, horrific it's horrible that's the one thing that gets me every time smelling mice and dead mice on the air that's the sort of thing that wears you down more than anything this is australian farming life but it's getting harder and harder each year to to keep going it's hard when you don't have a good night's sleep to get up and go again the next morning but that's what we do Eventually, they will get their own, maybe their own COVID, hopefully, um, that'll <laughs> clean them up. But your, your predator numbers will eventually build back up to a point where the system recorrects. The drought took us down a very deep hole and we're all just climbing the ladder one rung at a time and some unfortunately may never ever get back to a position where they're financially viable. You work your butt off all your life trying to keep everything going, feeding everyone and looking after, after the earth. They're just wiping everything out.